Following the initial video, we received uh, several requests for further information on um, sinkholes and liquefaction. Now we are over here in Victoria Park, where there is a good example of a sinkhole left over from the 22nd of February earthquakes and the 13th of um, June earthquake. Now over here we have a depression which is about a meter, a meter wide and about 450 millimeters um, sideways and out of this cavity water erupted very similar to across uh, other parts of Christchurch and initially then formed a sun boil. The sun boil was active for several hours and afterwards the material actually collapsed inwards creating the sinkhole and the depression we have actually over here. Let's have a look at uh, different sizes of the sinkholes. Um, we have seen previously a relatively large one and over here we have a relatively small one. The sinkhole is about 300 millimeter or a foot in diameter and is fairly pronounced and material actually collapsed back inwards. Now the sinkholes come in very small sizes up to very large in sizes. People reported sinkholes with several square meters in size which took sometimes garden furniture with them. Um, so they're coming from very small to very large sizes. Now the key question obviously is will they affect the house further on? Will they affect the land and what to do about them? Generally sinkholes relate to the material which was ejected out of the ground and the water which came out of the ground. And as the water came back and actually left the de typical depression which we see all over town. Now, the question, will it affect the development? Generally speaking, not. What's to be done is to backfill the cavity and then make it good. And I'll just show an example where backfilling was undertaken and uh, the sun boil um, and subsequent cavity was actually fixed. In this case, we have one which is about three, 400 millimeter in diameter and about a hand and a half deep with material really loose at the bottom. And the way to fix these sinkholes is simply to actually put the material back in, compact the material, and then reinstate the surface. Over here we have an example of a relatively large sinkhole which was partially reinstated. Um, what we have to either side of me, about 5 meters in this direction and 5 meters in this direction, is um, the black top which actually marks out the extent of the large sinkhole. So the sinkhole actually erupted, damaged the road surface and damaged the track over in front of me. In here we have the remnants of actually the material outwards and we can see how the bicycle rack actually collapsed inwards. Now the blacktop remediated the road surface by actually filling it and then placing the blacktop on top of it to actually reinstate the road. Thanks very much for all the questions we have received in the last couple of days. It was very encouraging and can we ask you to send more of your questions to the following email address.